Hello everyone, my name is Boris Kerman. I would like to present you an evidence-based quality improvement plan. First, I will briefly discuss where did my research come from. The search strategy involved conducting a comprehensive literature review using three major sources, CNAL, PubMed, and Cochrane databases, which are the most feasible and utilized sources among students and researchers. The reasons for choosing these databases are the broad specialization in healthcare scientific articles. The search uh, was conducted using the keywords fall intervention program, emergency department, and multifactorial interventions. The inclusion criteria were narrowed by selecting only those articles that address the fall prevention programs in the emergency department and or focused on multifactorial interventions. I would like to talk about one study titled Multi-Component Interventions in Emergency Department Falls conducted by Goldberg et al. 2020. The authors stressed the fall rate reduction primarily due to the multi-component intervention program. It gave strong support for the effectiveness of an evaluation of the fall prevention programs, which integrated components suggested by existing research in decreasing the incidence of falls and patients' complications. This unique high-quality research in the emergency department, ED, proves the applicability and necessity of action plan for the introduction of a fall prevention program in the emergency department of our healthcare institution. With respect to the conclusion based on empirical research made in other healthcare organizations, the action plan proposed in the present work may be considered reasonable and viable. Lastly, educating staff and patients as well as making appropriate changes to the environment by, uh, to incorporate special, special measures and strategies also corroborate practical research finding that have been affecting and lowering the incidence of falls. This approach will ensure we meet the goal of reducing falls in our ED, as well as offer a solution to the involvement of multiple fa factors which are always present in patient safety. I refer to action plan in my poster. In order to eliminate chances of running into obstacles during this course of um, executing the fall prevention program, the intervention of stakeholders of different uh, capacities should be conducted. Nurses, physicians, administrators, and other healthcare professionals will take ownership and be more committed to implementing and facilitating the choice model um, when they participate in uh, the research process. Also, staff support in the form of training sessions, links to educational materials, and encouragement will motivate providers and healthcare members to play an active role in this action plan, making it successful. Moreover, to enhance the impact of the false prevention program, it is suggested that the implementation of team um, employs the PDSA cycles plan, do, study, and act, whereby the ongoing results of this quality improvement implementation are utilized to adjust the plan as required regarding falls. The highlighted outcome measures of the plan um, teaching fall under the domains of the quadruple aim of healthcare transformation with respect to patient safety, focusing on falls, the length of stay, and staff satisfaction. The quadruple aim of healthcare has specific objectives focused on patient satisfaction, population health, and financial management for healthcare organization, as well as on providers' health and well being. Importantly, the fall prevention program directly impacts patients by minimizing the number of falls and those impacting their safety and experience. The consideration of the length of stay as influenced by this quality improvement plan facilitates the evaluation of the efficiency of the utilization um, of the available resources in addition to the decrease in costs. Finally, by engaging the staff in the program and responding to their issues, we ensure that they are happily exercising their duties under this initiative, a fourth of that objective of improving the experience of the healthcare providers. Thank you for your attention. Please let me know if you have any questions. I will gladly answer them. Thank you.